Sur The Street. You found the club. The only one to stay open during martial law. They've hiked up the cover, but you will have to pay if you want to find out if Nicolette is inside. Android credits. Here you go. Here is a key. It will be valid for this evening only. Nice, huh? Hi, baby. What's your name? JC. Mmm, mysterious. Want to know my initials? How about you tell me something about the people who come here? Anything you like, cutie. 20 credits. Okay. So, who do you want to find? What can you tell me about Nicolette Duclair? <laughs> you are in love, you poor man. She has already given her heart to one of the revolutionaries. I'm not in love. Could you tell me if she's here? You have a look. He has a tough guy look. But you cannot compare to a real revolutionary. They have their own private society upstairs. You will be happier down here. Another 20 credits? Sure. I can tell you about Antoine, the thief. Go ahead. Should I be keeping an eye on my credit chits? He pretends to be a big-time smuggler, but really he just steals things from the augmentation clinic where his mother works. Everyone's got to start somewhere, I guess. You will find him lurking in a dark corner. I bet he will try to sell you something. Am I telling you what you want to know? Can I have another 20 credits? Sure. Who next? Jacques, the accountant? I'm not picky. Tell me about Jacques. He grew up here in the Champs-Élysées. He knows everybody. If you're looking for a particular person... Where do I find him? He is in the office behind the South Bar. What do you say? Another 20 credits? Sorry. Pretty lady, huh? I love this place! What will it be? A snack for 10 credits? Wine for 120? Know the name Nicolette Duclair? What do you want with Miss Duclair? A private matter. This club has good security. You try something, you won't be arrested, you will be dead. I'm a friend of hers. She would have told me to expect you. 
What do you think of Silhouette? They have the right idea, but they are weak. Do they have much popular support? The people are ready to fight. Foreign troops go down the street every day, not even afraid of being seen. The group that has occupied the Chancellery is called Majestic 12. They control the United Nations and plot against other governments as well. What we need is an army. Silhouettes should be organizing resistance, not spreading around slogans everybody already agrees with. Never mind. Chad's dead. No. The police are making a clean sweep through the catacombs. He can't hide. Silhouette knows what to do in these situations. I told him this would happen. But he would not let go of his Voltaire delusion. Maybe he is a Voltaire. We don't know. Was Voltaire. I have some good news for both of you. Chad's alive. You seen him? Where? Is he okay? An American accent. What business do you have with Silhouette? My business is with the terrorists who control the French government. They're planning the same in my own country. What would L'Armor du Terre want with America? The French army had nothing to do with the coup. It was an international paramilitary group called Majestic 12. Hey, what about Chad? How is he? His hideout is secure. I'm looking for a friend of his named Nicolette Duclair. She can lead me to a powerful enemy of the conspirators. Nicolette! Oh, oh yeah, she's here. She... She does not want to be found. You know her? She realizes how foolish it is to antagonize the government and has gone into hiding. My friend is right, Nicolette told us not to trust anyone. I'm sorry. Nicolette is in enough trouble as it is. Chad knows exactly what he is doing. He will be a great hero in French history. A martyr, maybe. Not a philosopher. He's quoted all over the world. Slogans, antiques, no contract social. Ideas take many forms. He recycles the past. It is nothing special to be a reactionary who tries to revive the same old rhetoric. Leave us alone! Political freedom is uh, rhetoric? A necessary deception of the industrial age. A realization, rather, of the value of a human life. Human life was valuable only in one sense. Suddenly, any person was a unit of labor in the factory system, roughly equivalent to all others, and was therefore a transferable resource. It was the greatest age this planet has ever seen. The age of invention, of self-reliance, of the individual artist. And transferable resources must be free to move about in response to market forces. That's freedom. Now that most people don't produce anything of value. You're talking about the inherent worth of an individual, not economic utility. Now that only a few people create wealth, the scientists, engineers, bankers, and so on, we require an arrangement of the few of the inert mass the rest of us have become. A nation's government does not have to bow down beneath economic laws. That is where we differ. I believe the evolution is always in that direction. Hello, tough guy. You talking to me? You use bioelectric devices, yes? Manufacture steroids in your muscles? Nothing as crude as that. But yes, you would be interested in a bioelectric cell for 250 credits. Don't have enough money. Sorry. Yes. You are interested? Don't have enough money. Obey the rules and enjoy yourself.
have a life? I don't smoke. What's your name? I'm a little busy right now. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? I'm out of money. Have any spare chips? How does someone with no money get into a club with a 300 credit cover charge? My friends work here. Then you must know all about the place. Oh yes, I used to work in the office. I could tell you anything. How about 200 credits? I could give you the code to the safe room. I'm pretty broke right now. Maybe later. Qu'est-ce que je vous sers Thin crowd. Has martial law heard business Heard business Heard business You can even get on the metro. How can you get to the club without the metro I came through the catacombs. Oui, oui. The only way is to crawl in your belly like a stinking rat. That's all we get, stinking rats. Silhouette members, you mean Rats and the Gestapo, and they want free drinks. Gestapo? Not French soldiers. Some of them don't even speak French. The troops at the Metro? We. Oui, there was a coup. We see the president only on video recording, and sweat is dripping from his mustache because it's obvious. Someone is pointing a gun at his head. You might be right about that. Never mind. No fighting. <laughs> 